Welcome to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today I'm feeling like playing a god. And we're not just any god, we're just like a very, very cruel god. Because we just like kill people for fun. We just want to like enslave the whole world. We're like really, really evil. So let's begin. First of all, a big thank you to the developers for giving me a key to Cthulhu Catharsis. And now let's go. So we're gonna play as a, we can pick a god now. I'm not gonna play as a random god. We can be Cthulhu, deep below the Pacific dead, Cthulhu lay dreaming. Now he wakes. And our main ability is that we can deal one damage to a target country. The springs in a human owned country to zero HP, it explodes. That's actually lots of fun when it explodes. That's really cool. Or we can be near a lot of tip. The crawling chaos, unlike most other great one, he has always held a keen interest in mortal affairs. Top target friendly units, attack and HP values, not that interesting even though it seems really cool. Shub Nigurat. The black goat of woods with a thousand young, a goddess fertility deity, she perpetually bears more of her precious young. Gain 15 million souls. It costs you cultists. So in my test place I found that cultists are a lot easier, harder to get than souls. So you would like the opposite of her ability. Yok Sotot. I don't know how you say these names. Yoksotot is the gate. Yoksotot is the key. His omniscience means all is open to his eyes. The target units HP to half of its max HP. That's actually pretty cool. But however, we're going to be Cthulhu so we can explode countries for fun. Now we shall be orange. And our enemy is going to be a random god who's going to be green. And we are both going to pick a random stuff because we're not picky. We can destroy these humans no matter where they're hiding. Starting again. Alright, so we get... Pretty good. We get Land of Wine. Alright, alright. I'm not mad at that. That's a... Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not good when you're on the so close to each other. You're like, why can't she go, go to Europe, man? Like, leave me alone here. <laughs> He is the red ember. I started in the red ember in a different one. It's a really good starting point. I don't know if it's better than mine. Probably is better than mine. It's 4k cold. No, no, no. Okay, mine is better. Okay, but, but it's it's a really good starting point. Like this is fantastic. In my last test stream, I started there. I was like, well, that was a really good run. And and then I, once I started Central Europe, and that was that, that was not great. <laughs> but it could have been just because I didn't know how to play the game properly yet. All right, so let me talk to you about the interface a bit. So here we have our cultists. These are the people that are your loyal to us, and they are the most difficult to get in my uh, in my test games because you kind of pay with them for everything, like to give, make new buildings, to make units that you'll use to kill people, etc. So you know you need a lot of them. Then you've got souls. Human souls you're generating by turn sacrifices are always needed for the dark knowledge found in the research. So this is essentially the people that you kill per turn. Because that's what we do here, we enslave humans. And in uh, order, once we kill them, we get research. So, we can learn to, to get new abilities. We'll talk about research in a second. Here we have terror points. This don't affect the games, but the more you have them, the better. We currently get four per turn. And then we, the number of promises we want we own is one. So first thing we'll do is we'll pick a research three. So we can pick a sacrificial pit, which gives us plus four million souls per turn if we build it in the country. Or city of the damned unlocks the city of the damned building, which increases base cultist generation in a country by plus two k. We're definitely taking it. And Shogot Slavipen. Unlocks the Shogot Slavipen building, which increases production in a country by two. This is actually really good as well. I think we'll start with the Shogot Slavipen first, and then we'll do it. Now, I have this ability that allows me to lower HP of a country. And if I destroy a human country, country that he doesn't own, I can erase it from the map. And I would really like that, because I don't want him to hit me. So, we are going to pick... Let's try... No, well, this is gonna take eight turns, but I guess we'll do it. Let's try to destroy this one. Once it gets desert, we'll get erased from the map, and then he can get there. Then I'm gonna pick both of my people, and I'm going to grab the village. <laughs> Let's go take the village. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't check the village stats. Okay, so when you're enslaving, you should check the stats to decide how many of these people you want to enslave. There are 35 million people in the village. I just love that skull. What shall we do with these chattel? Okay, and you can enslave them or slaughter them. Now, how many people are determines on how many souls you get per turn. So if you have like a low amount of people, you wanna you can easily like slaughter them because they don't give you any souls anyways. But if you have high amount of people, you don't want to hurt them. I'm gonna go with like a safe, I don't know, 20%. Not gonna hurt them too much, just a little bit. They give me oh, 0 0.2 souls per turn, so that's nothing. So we could have enslaved them all. Well, next time. And 3k cultists per turn, and we get one terror point. That's not really interesting. Um, three production per turn is not half bad. And we're going to start this off by building a hound. Now let's take a gas. And here we're going to get a new unit, also a gas. Now, I didn't talk to you about the stats of these monsters, so I'll tell it to you here over the enemy side. So this on the left, this number is your attack this on the right is your hp and over here you can see the attack damage of your entire country 12 and the defense is 14 the hp is 14. so because i moved my guys under here if it canada it was well sorry with the village it was five and five so we our people get, get killed because they killed us but it's fine it's all right it's not a problem now, aside from the research, we also have a daimonic tree where we can sort of pick each of these takes eight turn to finish. What we are going to go is this reap tree because it gives us 100 million souls. And then later on, it allows us to take this, which, no, mm. well, one of these gives us like 75,000 cultists, which is what we want. Which one is that? Oh, it doesn't matter, but one of them gives us the thing. So we're going to grab this reap. This is 100 million. So you can also get plus one summon land point. This is pretty cool. This allows you to create brand new land so that you can connect up to the enemies because you cannot attack through water. So you sort of create a new land on which your minions walk through as they destroy the enemy who falls before them. Okay. I'm really sad that he's on my side. Like, go away. <laughs> Go to Africa, Europe. We have a whole world that you can enslave. Leave leave my my side alone. Yeah, he's not leaving it alone. Okay. We're gonna keep attacking this poor center place. I like that it's called center place. So that we can erase it from the world. Now in the meantime, we're still working on getting our units. It's going to take us quite a few turns. And we're also working on our research over here on getting the Shagot Slavikon, which allows us to increase production. The higher the degree of production is, the faster you make new buildings. There's nothing for us to do right now. Let's just move to next time. And we have finished our research. So next time we get is get the City of Dam, which unlocks the City of the Dam building, which increases the cultist thing, which, like I said, is the most important thing you ever have. And we got to keep hitting the center place so we can destroy it before he takes it. It's very important. Okay, so we've got ourselves some people, so I'm going to grab this beautiful ghast and send him to his death. So he falls down in Navel of the Moon. Yeah, okay, and when we get the second one in, in a few turns, we can get it and we can destroy this and it's going to be mine. Let's keep destroying this beautiful center place. And we can pick a new research, so I, I'm going to upgrade the City of the Dam, so it's going to give me even more cultists. But first, oh, we don't, we don't have enough cultists to build the Shagot Slavipan, which is a little sad. So we're going to have to wait a turn. I could build another unit, but I don't want to. Now, each unit has one action point, which can be either turn into movement or attack. You cannot get both uh, until you get mutations. So here we have mutations. Currently, I don't know any mutation, but if I learn them, I can do some of these. So for example, I could do let's say the cilia, which gives you plus one action point, cost to 20,000 cultists, so we don't have that yet. So let's move to here, and we want to build a building of Shogot Slavipan, so we can build stuff faster. Unfortunately, it's going to take us six turns. That's okay. That's okay. And over here, we make 3k cultists per turn. We make quite a lot of cultists per turn, but it's still not enough. Like you see, we need a lot more. Let's keep hitting the center place. I just want to show it to you when it explodes. And we'll grab this beautiful cultist and move him to Navel of the Moon. 
Okay, they generate 2.2 souls per turn. That is quite a bit. So we don't want to enslave too many of them because we like it. So let's just, let's enslave like 6 million just for good measure. But we're like not going to hurt them too much. We're like, no, we like you. They're like, really? I'm like, yeah. You seem nice and sweet. We're not going to hurt you. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. I thought you were going to kill us like you did the people in Canada. Oh, you're nice this time around. So we've gotten them. Which is good. They're really good for us. I like them. Navel of the Moon is fantastic. Now, we could... We can do nothing. We have too little cultists to do anything very overly useful. We need to start building these um, City of the Damn buildings so soon. Now, did I finish my research? No, still working on it. Three more turns. All right. Move towards the next one. We are almost ready to destroy the central place. Just one more and then we're going to watch it explode. Now, we finished our research. So let's get plus one. No, let's get sacrificial pit. Gives us extra souls. Or plus one summon lands allows us for 60 mil... Oh, sorry, not, sorry, not for 60 million. So it allows us to create a new land. So I think... So because then we could move like through here, jump towards Europe. Yeah, like that. That'd be really good. So we're going to do that. And we'll let, let him have South America. If that's what you want, I'll let you have it. Just don't touch me up here. All right. And we can start some more production. So... Can I build some building? I don't think so, but we could get a unit. Let's get a unit. No, we probably don't need a unit, so we're just gonna wait a turn. I, I need to have more cultists, so then I can start building more buildings. So let's just move towards the next turn. And now the moment has come. Let's destroy the center place. Bye bye. No more connection. And we just exploded a whole country. Like, no, we don't like you. Bye bye. <laughs> no more connection. This is a really cool thing in the game. I quite enjoy that. All right, we also finished our little building here in Land of Mine. So now, if we build new buildings, they're going to be significantly faster. However, for a new building, we need 20k colonists, which we don't have just yet. Do we want to get it regular? I think it will take, we'll take a... It's going to take four turns to get. How long does it take here? Two. I'd rather build the thing that gives us more cultists here. How long does it take you for? Fine, let's give me one, one ghast, and we'll move it up here towards the land of the Kalalit. There's a lot of units there. That's kind of worrying me. Now we can start hitting some of uh, his countries. So let's, um, I don't know, let's just hit, or we could lower the HP of this one. So that when we attack it, we don't have to fight so hard for it. But then when we have it, it's gonna... Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. But then when we take it, it's gonna have less HP probably as well. I don't know, I haven't tested it out. It was usually destroying uh, places that I didn't want to hit. Now we can get a new land. Which... Can I take over this, by the way? Sleeping land. Ooh, that's very nice. Two cakes. So we're gonna create a new land here because I want to show it to you. Like so. And then we can build any kind of a shape we like. So we're going to have, let's fill this bottom up. We need to connect it to a country that we have, which is this. Let's fill it all up. And then we'll, up here, we'll create something. I don't know. Let's create like a like crown-ish thing. Could that, I don't know if that worked out the way I wanted it to. Yeah, it looks a bit like a crown. Fuck okay. it. I am not the artist, as you can see. We're going to call it the crown. It looks more like a hand than a crown <laughs> with weird thumbs on both sides. But you know what? It works. It has no people. It's literally just there so we can move through it and take over this beautiful sleeping land, which shall now be my... And I still don't have enough cultists because this cost me 5k cultists to use to build the building I want to build. That's okay. We're going to get our new research, which is going to be Relay Rises. So we get two deep ones, which have attack five and HP two in my capital. Let's go. And we finished our research and now we can get, let's get a better Shogot Salve Pen so it gives us even more production. And I think we're just gonna move towards the next turn. Yeah, he's attacking, getting more of his area down there. We finished research again because we got a lot of stuff. And let's get our first mutation. We're gonna get the Stomach Tentacle which gives you plus one attack. That's pretty cool. And we're going to hit, I don't know, this. 
Now let's start hitting this area. I want to destroy him slowly. Now finally I have enough cultists so I can build the city of the dam which gives me plus two, uh, plus two cultists per turn. And that's the only thing we can do. So that's all we're gonna do. I have so many units. Which is very, very worrying. But it's alright, it's gonna be fine. More research. Okay, we're gonna work on better city of the dam too. We already have that level two. So let's get better units, tier two units, that's fine. And we keep hitting this area of his. I just wanna explode it. And in one more turn we're gonna get this unit. And I don't know, we're gonna try to move it towards here, but it doesn't I don't see the stats of it. Ooh, okay, so it belongs to Oh, that is cool. So we could like grab it straight over. So so it it connects up on the other side. That's really cool. Okay, that's cool. Well we'll do that. He's taken over this area. Let me just keep hitting his thing then. Let's hit this one because it is five HP, so we can get it down to four and destroy it. And we'll take our beautiful minion and we'll try to move him in this direction so we can take over this. It's gonna give us 0 0.4 million souls, two cultists, 2k cultists. This gives us no 1 million residents. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for this. This first. Okay. And we have 17k cultists. So we could definitely use one more. Can I, yeah, I can build anything there because I got nothing there. One more gas. It's gonna take four turns, but I think that's okay. Okay, and we finished our research again. So let's get plus one building camp. So, so you actually have a limit of how many buildings you can have in each uh, country. For example, here we can have three and we have three, so we can't build any more buildings over here until we sort of get improvement. But we could get new cultists, which I don't want. I want to start building some buildings. So let's here go with the city of the dam. It's going to take seven turns, but that's all right. We don't really have that many cultists to build more stuff anyways. So we're okay with that. We used our ability, so let's move towards the next turn. And we're going to keep hitting this area of his. Because why not? Now my guy is going to keep moving so we can attack the sleeping land. I could give him a mutation so we'd have four attack, but it's not really that effective because it still wouldn't take over the sleeping land. We still need one more. So let's keep hitting this. Great. You attack. Good. Fantastic. And one more turn, we're going to get this guy over here. And then. What do we do? We could build, we have 19k, so we don't have enough for a building yet. We could get a unit. Yeah, let's get like a basic unit, why not? Okay, so we'll move this guy over here. Need to get towards the sleeping land. And production-wise, we're going to start building a building here. City of the Dam, always build that. Until you have enough cultists. Ooh, okay. You may choose a new name and focus. You may choose a new research. Now we've gotten the two people, the two deep ones. So I think, and they have a five attack. So if we just hit up this little place up here for one more, we could go there with just one of these guys and take it over. So start moving, man. Start moving up. I don't want to connect up with him, so I think we're just going to start moving towards the sleeping line and see how we can move over there. So we'll just start moving these guys well up as well so they can move in that direction. And we can pick a new focus. So now we can get... Deal one damage to target if, if this brings any human to own HP to so it explodes. Deal two damage to a target country. Oh! So this is different. So I used to have like 75k cultist here, but I played as a different god. So I guess that's why it changes. Okay, well, we'll take two damage to a country. That's fine. And a regular research will pick... Let's do the sacrificial pit. We apparently need that. Now, as for production, we could get just like some basic units. I think that's okay. And this guy, did I tell you to move forward? And the rest of you are already moving forward. Okay, good, next time. Now the new guy move and take over the sleeping land. 
Yes. Now they are giving stuff, so I don't think I don't think we want to enslave. Well, actually, do we want to? Let's do ten percent. We're just gonna be nice. Zero point three million souls. That's okay. Two K cultists. That's pretty important. But more importantly, we can now proceed to attack these areas around here, which is good. And we'll use our point to hit. We'll keep hitting these guys because why not? You want to hurt the enemy. And production wise, we don't have enough cultists to do anything useful, so we just wait a turn. Now, all of you move forward that way. And you are supposed to move to the land of Kalalit, where we can enslave. Well, there's nobody to enslave because I only have like 1 million residents. So, like, I'm not gonna enslave anybody because, like, man, I would just kill you. We're not gonna do it. Yeah, so we can see this is now six. So if you're using this cool ability, you're lowering their HP permanently. So okay, and you can get it below zero, but if we have like one unit, we can just jump over here and destroy it. So we're definitely gonna lower all of his HP over here. Because we can. Let's get a boost. Permanent boost of what plus one K cultists per turn. Absolutely. We have 26 cultists, which means. I could, oh, I could get a new building here. Let's build this here. Because it's the fastest to get a unit there. And we could move towards this area and get a unit. Oh, we need 10k for that. Okay, never mind. Never mind. But I want to grab my people and start moving them forward. I already moved them forward? I guess I did. Alright, next time. Now, move forward, people. And we'll keep hitting him with everything we can. Very good. 20k cultists. So let's get some cool units here. What about Mingo has two two attack, six health. Ghoul has three attack, four health. Deep one is five attack, two health. Let's get a deep one. I wonder if you can move to here from there. This is giving me 1k cultists and 1.7 million souls. Land of the Rising Sun. Alternatively, we could take two deep ones and kill the Middle Kingdom. Ooh, they have 999. They give me 9.9 .9 million souls per turn. That is epicness. Okay, we're focusing on the Middle Kingdom. We are so taking that. That is a fantastic place to have. Let's go. All right, so we have finished our research again. Sacrificial Pit 2, sure. Go there. It gives me more souls. So keep hitting on this guy because why not? Hit somebody there, doesn't matter who. And grab these two and move them over. Right? And then they're gonna move to here if they can. Now here we're working on the thing. We have 16k cultists, so we can we start building anything else. And actually, research rights, we should start wor working on next summon land. Okay, so we need to do the deep one cavern first so we can get another summon land. We could alternatively try to go at him as well, but he has a lot of units. And I don't know if I can beat those. I might just like take over the rest of the world first. Seems like the best choice. Yeah, he, he's like crawling with units. <laughs> we have 40k. So let's get... Um, let's just get the city of the dam here. And we'll place another one maybe up here. Seven turns to build is a while, but we can afford it. One more somewhere? How about here? Seven turns. Sure. You. You could move to where? Could you move to? Okay, nice. We didn't attack. Let's do another one. We're down to two H. So we've got nobody close. So we're gonna need to start moving with this guy upwards. Maybe we should build like a regular unit here. No, we'll, we'll wait it out. It's fine. So now let's get another summon land. And we need to keep moving this guy up. And I'm going to continue hitting his area. Production wise, we're working on it. That's good. Keep moving this guy forward. And 43k cultist, that's really, really good. Now up here, I'm going to start getting some units. So let's get a deep one. No, let's get ghouls. Because ghouls have like same attack and defense, so it's pretty good. And if we could use mutations, we can get them even stronger. 
here we could get oh here we can just get like let's get a gas then you keep moving forward you keep hitting him Oh, now we get the minus two, which is really nice. Harvest. When the stamina focus finishes, all countries are dealt two points in damage, including in a, this brings any non-capital entry to zero HP, it explodes. Do we want that? All countries are dealt two points of damage. Well, can I make it easier to take over the, uh, actually it will explode this one. Now let's not take that one then. Let's do isolation. Oh, you gain 60k cultists going down this tree makes the alliance tree unavailable. No, we're not going to make any alliances. We want to destroy our enemy. So let's get all the cultists we could ever need. And research wise, we're researching the summon land. So we are fine on that. And did I move my guard? Is he here yet? Not yet. We'll keep hitting the enemy as always. We must destroy the enemy. Move this guy forward so we can hit hit there. Now we do have the summon land, but we do not have enough units to even like stand a chance against him. So we would need to get a lot more. Try to take some more ghouls here, so we could start working there. And here we would like. Let's get. Uh, we need somebody cheap, so let's get a gas. You don't, uh, just to destroy this. Actually, we're already working on destroying that. So let's take a deep one instead. So we can take over land of the pure, for example. Working on isolation and research wise, we want uh, Screeching Mouth. Give the unit to be the only thing an enemy can attack in the unit's nation. Let's get Celia, which gives us plus one range. That allows us to do two sort of like movement per turn, which is pretty nice. So let's move towards the next turn. Alright. Now do we have my guy there? You go and destroy this. Great. We're not gonna enslave them at all because we want 10 million souls per turn, which is fantastic. Now, let's start getting some buildings here, like City of the Dam. Deep One Cavern gives us extra power and HP now. Let's do City of the Dam here. Same. Now, up there, we'll leave it alone. We need more units over here, like a lot more units. Let's get more Deep Ones. And here we'll get um, a Ghoul, I guess. And we'll keep destroying him. Because I really want to start moving in this direction, but it's going to take a while to just build these units. Here, let's get a deep one as well. And over here, how are we doing? We're building very, very slow. More research, more research. Better, let's, let's get better sacrificial bed. I'd like to show you the mutations too, if, if we can. Let's move these guys down there. Every unit that we have, you want to move them in that uh, nation. Because he can, um, if you have people uh, people in a unit, they first attack that unit only after you attack the nation. Now, let's get more units. Get a deep one here, deep one here, and I don't know, deep one here. We've got a deep one over here, which we can send to the land of the pure. Gives us 3.8 souls, which is not half bad, actually. And let's get a ghast. We don't need anything better than that. Got to hit him again, didn't I? He has so many others. That's going to be fun. Let's work on a void touch. You can freeze enemy unit, making them skip their turn. That seems pretty cool. And as usually, we need a lot more units. Deep one, ghoul, ghoul. Okay, working on it. Here we'll get, uh, let's get a deep one. Why not? 
All right, I think we're gonna start doing some mutations just so I can show you. So let's do the stomach tentacle, which gives us plus one attack, costs us 15k, but it seems useful. And we have a lot of attacking units, not so much defending ones. So this is down to one HP. Oh, we gotta start hitting some of these other areas then. Okay. Now, do we want to connect it up? It's probably going to kill us, but it could be fun just to kind of show you. Let's, let's just show it off. So we'll do something here and we'll do like an area. I don't know. We'll just connect it like this. Doesn't really matter. Just fill it up. We'll just fill up like a full circle because why not? And we'll call it the war zone. Just like war zone because that's what it is. Just a war zone. We'll let him take it. Because honestly, I don't particularly, like, he's going to want it. He invested 33% colors plus 30 souls output from your own country's other money. Yeah, let's take that. Because he'll definitely want it. So we're just like, you can have it, man. Just take it. And I'm going to hit you once you try to get anywhere closer. Because I don't think he has double movement. Let's get ghouls. And we've got nothing over here, though. We could do, okay, we can do more units. So let's uh, move this guy there and get another unit like a deep one. And get anything there. Get something here. Let's get a deep one again. And we'll next. Yeah, so he's taking over. That's perfectly fine. And uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have anybody here. I was kind of hoping he would. But. Okay, so let's start this off with taking somebody cheap like this ghast and we're gonna move it over okay and then we're going to take the let's take everybody and move them one step closer now does any of you have the mutation because we could try to mutate them. Let's mutate you to get uh, cilia. So plus one action point, And then we can move it forward. Uh, or is it next now? No, okay, we can go straight in. We want to, I think we're going to just devour it. Because it doesn't have, yeah, we're just going to take it all. <laughs> the, the void draws many into its depth. Yeah, we, a sense of the void. No, okay, that was just a thing. Okay. So this is going to give us no souls, but 5k cultists. It's a really good place to have. Now, everybody else, I need you to move like towards this area if you can. You move closer. Okay, we're waiting for more units. Now, mutation-wise, I could give... Ev let's give everybody like stomach tentacles. And can you make a new unit? You could try to make a deep one, but I don't think we'll... Oh, it actually only takes two turns, so let's, let's try to get Amigo, because he has a lot of HP. That could be useful. In the meantime, we've got some people here who can fight. You're doing five damage. Could you destroy that? Yes. We get the Rising Sun. Let's devour them completely. Yeah, let's take, let's take them all. We get so many souls now. Let's get a deep one cavern again. Uh, deep one cavern two, that's what I meant to say. And we want to build, I don't know, let's build a city of the dam, and you build a city of the dam as well. Towards the next turn. Wow, look at the many units he has, that's crazy. All right, so we are going to move forward with you. We could mutate you with cilia, and then we'll move you to there. What's going on? I thought I mutated you. Why aren't you doing it? Okay, I guess I moved him too much. Well, either way, we'll try to move our people forward. Just to make sure we don't, like, get murdered too soon. Uh, and we need to start building a lot more units. So let's get let's get more deep ones and you can no more call this no. Okay, we need to get the screeching mount, clearly. The only option is given to us, so I guess we'll take it. 
And we'll end the turn, and they're gonna start destroying our people. Yep. But we are starting to move through them, which is pretty nice. Research while oh, let's get tier 3 units. Or unlocks the Membranous Wings Mutation, which allows you to gift a unit with flight. You can toggle flight to prevent them from being targeted by non flying units and to have them move over enemy countries without attacking. That seems cool, but I think we'll take the tier 3 units first. So this is doing 2 attack and 6 slots. So let's start with some of these. Don't you move? Okay, you move in there first. All of the deep ones should move into there. And all of you should move to, into that area. And we'll get a couple more units. As always, get a couple of the. Uh, ah, let's get ghouls. I like ghouls. Give me ghouls as well. And we're gonna keep hitting his country. Now, the flying is actually interesting because with the flying, we could potentially. Get out of this area. Yeah, let's take them all alive. We could potentially, you know, like like fly over his units and take it from the bottom, which could be quite nice. Okay, he doesn't seem to be hitting as hard as I thought he would be. So we'll grab you. Can we just take you all and hit this area? We'll just start moving ourselves towards here. Oh, we can move into this? I thought we could. Or maybe the deep ones just weren't there yet. Okay, never mind. It's a little difficult to maneuver because you've got like so many people there. But let's move towards the next turn. Lots of death everywhere. We gotta start making. Oh, let's do Shantak 6 3. That's really good. Or 4 5 Goog. Let's do Shantak. I wanna do. Sh and here we'll do Goog so we can see. So we can also like see the different types of units and all that. Let's move down here, I guess. I feel like it's not letting me move there. So you move. We should just get. Well, we can't really get from Syria. Maybe he froze me or something. Could that be? That could be. Because, like, I can't do anything. Alright, let's keep hitting his plate. And we need to get more research. Let's get the wings now. And here we're still working on propagate. Which gives us more soul and potent. Okay? That was a good hit. But but he, he is getting less people. Any of you can do anything? Eh, they seem to be kind of not doing much. No. No attack anywhere. It's just like not going to happen. But I could grab you, for example, the 2-6. If I give you the wings, can I then take and fly you over there? Yeah, those seem to be frozen or something. Oh, extra arms. Yeah, that's interesting. Now let's get a better city of dam, so it's gonna give us even more points. I keep forgetting to make more units, but it's okay. So he's working on all his units. Okay, you two move in. Ooh, this looks really good, this four or five. That's look inter interesting. Like it. You get essentially all of his countries to like zero. We're doing one research like per turn. We're like super fast. Let's get a better, a better that. And he can't even kill us. I guess like a gazillion units. And we have always like three or four, and he's just like, nah. I can't handle it. It's not happening. Oh, let's move this guy. So let's give this guy the wings. And then could I move you straight down here? I don't think so because it's too far. I can only move you to there. Interesting. We could get infestation. Your god calling us 2k cultists now. Oh yeah, and we get more cultists as well. Let's do that. 
We'll hit, uh, there's really no more to hit, so let's start hitting some, like, random areas. They killed my big guy! How dare you! Ooh, we hit this one recklessly. And more damage. All right, well, we're well over time, so I think we're going to end the episode here. We control the most of the world, which is what is important. I hope you enjoyed this one, and you can click on the right to top to watch Defending Territory. You can click on the right bottom to watch Unity of Command, too. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.